Amanut, it's your moral Amanut Eva. We are here, we are in Adar. Welcome. So you have learned, we know that Adar is the month of joy. It's a joyful month um, where we cultivate joy, we share joy, we spread joy. Um, and that has been the mission of the art projects, so Amanut as of late, and we are continuing with that. What you might not know about the month months of Adar, because we have two Adars this, this year, right? We get a bonus month of joy this year. Um, what you might not know is that the month of Adar's symbol is fish. The fish is um, the symbol of Pisces, which is um, the astrological um, symbol of the month of Adar. The season we're in right now, the end of winter, early spring, um, is the time where fish multiply. Um, and for a lot of people, especially in traditional cultures that you know rely on fish um, for food, um, the abundance of fish in the water is a sign that everything's good, <laughs> that life is good, that life is a blessing, you know, that um, basically God has blessed you with a lot of fish. So, um, so that's a, another thought. Um, I also think that fish can represent strength. That's just my personal, um, a lot of them swim oftentimes upstream, um, many, many miles um, to where they were born and um, face a lot of challenges sometimes. Um, anyway, so um, in the spirit of joy of Adar, um, I thought we could make a fish kite. Now this is a specific kind of fish kite called a koi nobori. Can you say koi nobori? Now, this isn't a specifically Jewish object. It is a specifically Japanese object um, that uh, Japanese people used to celebrate children on Children's Day every year um, in springtime in April or May. Um, and this is something that I, um, being half Japanese, grew up with. Um, uh, with these koi nobori, they can be made of paper or fabric and they are kind of like a wind sock. They're like a kite, but like also kind of like a wind sock. So when the wind blows, they stand upright. And it's really fun because there's all these fish flying through the air, which to me is just so adar. So like upside down, the fish are in the air, right? <laughs> um, and the specific type of fish that the koi nobori is um, representing is the koi fish, or the, um, the it's also called the carp in English. Um, and you know what I learned in making this project was that um, carp is actually the fish that we make gefilte fish out of. So it's actually a very Jewish fish also. And I decided to reflect that in some writing that I put on the tail here. And I just made this out of a toilet paper tube and some paper and glue so, and string. Um, so please come make this with me. Here we go.
friends. Thank you so much for making this Koi Nobori Adar Kite Windsock with me. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you take it around outside and run around with it or um, maybe hang it from a window or um, hang it outside your house, see how the wind moves it around. Um, I hope you are having a joyful time right now, finding joy in your everyday life. And um, please share, please share what you make with us. We always wanna see. See you next time.